Bonjour à tous. Comment allez-vous? Aujourd'hui, je vais unbox le rachon de combat individuel rachouffable. Menu number 2. Hello, everyone. This is an RCIR that was given to me so generously by Atomic Shrimp. I'm going to link Atomic Shrimp's channel and his uh, video for his unboxing. We're both unboxing and reviewing the same menu number two RCIR that he gave me and got one for himself, which is very cool. Thank you so much to Atomic Shrimp for this opportunity to review this because I have never had an RCIR before. This is just going to be the unboxing of all of the components and everything in here, and I will uh, list them for you and everything. And then I will do the taste testing and review and everything on separate video because this is a lot of food, guys. This is a 24-hour ration. So let's see what's inside. I'm going to open it with my knife that I got from Iridium, and I want to show him because I'm trying to explain to him which one he sent me. <laughs> Oh my God, guys, this is gonna be so good. I just know it. Sorry, the lighting's a little bit bad. It's late at night and it's raining. <laughs> but I am so happy that I finally got an RCIR. I would have never been able to get this without your help, Atomic Shrimp, so thank you. So let's get into this and see everything that is in this 24 hour ration. This is, uh, th everything should be fresh. This is good till the 19th day of February, 2022. So it's got a couple years left on it. And um, honestly, like I've seen some people open some crackers and things in here and they've been a little bit stale. And I don't think I'm going to have that problem because of the shelf life. I'm crossing my fingers anyway. Because right off the bat, I see the biscuits that I've wanted to try for like a year with the three different flavors in them. This box of biscuits contains uh, two sachets of uh, biscuits au oh, cereal which is uh, two cereal biscuits, biscuit sal, which is salted biscuits, and biscuit chocolat, which is chocolate biscuits. Three of those, three salted, two cereal. Oh my gosh. I am looking forward to this so much. I've wanted these for so long. I've tried to buy them individually, and I couldn't find them. And then uh, some people said that they found some individual ones, and they were stale. I don't think these are going to be stale. <laughs> And another thing on the top here that looks really excellent is the muesli chocolate. Oh my gosh, that looks good. Now I know what you're thinking. You said you don't like chocolate. <laughs> well, I don't like um, chocolate from the States. You know, I, I don't like cheap chocolate, chocolate without a lot of real cacao. Uh, chocolate from Europe is usually very good. And I think this will be fine. The French people know their chocolate. So I'm looking forward to that. That is obviously supposed to be used as a breakfast item. And then we have a little pouch of dried instant soup, Neff brand. So yeah, I, I don't know exactly what kind of soup this is. Let's see. Oh, pomme de terre, pâté, tomate. Oh, tomato, carrot. Okay, this is like a, it says oriental on it. So this might be like an oriental vegetable soup in a pouch. Yes, guys, I'm still losing my voice a little bit. I apologize, but I think you can hear me okay now, right? I hope so. <laughs> and then we have the dessert, which I've seen people try before, and that is the chocolate. Oh, it's like a cake. Fondant cake, they call it. Gutsu. Yes. Oh, interesting. Napage chocolat. Wow, so it's not exactly a cake. It's a fondant cake with chocolate topping. That sounds really good, guys. And then we have an energy, an energy uh, citron. Okay, this is a citrus energy drink. Isotonic, Iso, Iso Star brand. And then I don't know if I'm going to be able to have that or not. This is an energy bar. Sevio cafe which is coffee wow this is a coffee energy bar i'm really looking forward to that you know how much i like coffee flavored things and if you didn't know that you know that now <laughs> here is a nougat bar a fruit okay so this is like a mixed fruit nougat bar i think i've had one of these before i think i bought one of these individually 
from the MRE Nation or, or something like that. Yeah, they're pretty good. People tell me when they expire that they kind of have an odd smell or a chemical paint kind of smell, but when they're fresh that they're excellent. I'm going to consider that this one is probably fresh since it's got two years left on it. So <laughs> I really hope it's fresh because I think this is going to be great and I love nougat. Oh my goodness. This is really, really cool so far, guys. <laughs> okay, now this is a, um, oh, okay. Ensemble chauffage. Oh, Ensemble de Rechauffage. This is a mini stove, a foldable mini stove. Now, I have not gotten a foldable mini stove in any of my rations thus far, but this is a foldable mini stove with some, some of these heating element tablets, of course. I like these. Oh my goodness, comes in handy, you know. Look, there's a packet of matches in here with the Eiffel Tower on because, like, what else would be on it? And that is really cool. I'm going to put that back in the box um, on my own time so we can get moving with this video. Here is a couscous poulet, which is a chicken couscous. I don't know if I'm going to be able to eat um, all this because of the meat in it, but hey, it looks really good. Look at that. They put pictures of the of the food on their cans in their rations and try to make it look appetizing, which is much appreciated probably because like our rations and others do not have that. I like these, you know, I know that the pull tops don't last as long as say something you'd have to open with a can opener, but still, I think that that's very cool. And that is why this is so heavy because it has metal canisters of food in it. So there's one of the mains. And then the other main that's right underneath that is a uh, saumon gris legume, which is rice, Legume is beans and salmon. So this is one that I could try because this is a meat-based food with some salmon and then the rest is rice. Sounds really good. It even tells you what percentage of everything is on here. That's really cool. 30, 37% salmon filet and then 18% rice, etc. It's it's a rojette. My gosh, you know, it just it's very, very cool. I think that that's, that's really neat. I really like this. And look at all look at all these napkins slash toilet paper slash paper towel. I mean, there's like a whole packet of these things. <laughs> That's cool. I like the way they're packaged. And here we have uh this is like a fish pate, guys. Another thing I can try. So I'm looking forward to that. Look at that picture on there. That's really cool. I really like that. Why don't other places have it fancy like this? I guess some do. Plum jam. Oh my goodness, plum jam. See, we don't find a lot of plum flavored things in the United States. I don't know why plum is not a big, common, fancy flavor for candies and things here. If I want to find plum hard candies, I have to shop at the Asian market for them. I've never seen plum flavored hard candies in just the regular grocer. Yeah, and I like plum. Plum is like probably my third favorite fruit. <laughs> and then a uh, um, bear energy, peach and apricot flavor. That sounds really good. A peach apricot energy bar is something that I know I'm going to like. Then we have, this is a packet of coffee. There's actually two instant coffees on one side. And then the other side has a hot chocolate. El Rum Cacao. So I, I don't know, it's like a hot chocolate drink with the coffee on the other side, and I guess you could put them together and make a mocha if you wanted to, which is probably what I'm gonna do. That is neat. And there's a couple other things in here still. Here's another bar. This is a fruit bar, a pate de flu bar. This is uh, like a pate, like a mushed up kind of. Um, maybe pulverized kind of fruit made into a bar. It has, um, oh, framboise. Okay, so this is, uh, it shows raspberries on it. That sounds really good too. And there's one more item in here, and this is a chocolate bar. Noir 60%. 60% dark chocolate bar. Very cool. Klaus brand from 1856. Holy crap. 
That brand's been around for some time. <laughs> yeah, 60% cacao. So that is cool. A dark chocolate bar. Now, dark chocolate is not my favorite, but I am going to give it a shot because people say it's excellent. There is a lot of stuff in here, guys, and this is why I'm going to be doing a couple different videos for a couple different meals because it'll get too long. It'll be far, far, far too much food for me at one time. You know, so I told um, Atomic Shrimp that I was going to have to break this into a couple meals. I don't know um, exactly if he's going to do that too, but we're going to be posting our videos at the same time and linking one another. And I am going to link his video and his channel in my description. As I've said, oh my God, <laughs> I finally got the crackers, guys. <laughs> I mean, I am looking forward to this so very much. I'm going to put everything back in here. Uh, it makes me very happy <laughs> that I can finally review a French ration. I know a lot of you guys have done a lot of French rations, but I have never had one before. They're kind of expensive to have shipped to me, and <laughs> it took a couple weeks to get to me, but ah, it was worth it. <laughs> so, yeah, I'm going to be doing uh, breakfast, lunch, maybe dinner reviews on these, and uh, I'll be linking his as well. So we're going to be doing like a like a double kind of review together, and that's why he got this for me. Menu number two. He's going to be doing menu number two as well. And we'll both tell you what we think. So thank you so much for watching, guys. I will talk to you all soon. Thank you for subscribing and liking and all that good stuff. Au revoir.